Hi guys, the Factor Minute launch is set on the 19th of July and Factorians, myself included, are super excited for this new DeFi innovation that's coming. One of the cool things Factorians will be able to do on Mainnet launch is to create our own vaults with unique huge strategies that really puts power in the hands of the user. And even better, the Factor team was excited to see what kind of huge strategies the community will be able to come up with. And so, they launched the Zilli Quest to let users hypothesize some nice strategies and see how well it ranks against others. Now this was amazing. I wasted no time and sprung into action immediately. For my hypothetical strategy, I needed to make sure that the protocol I'd be working with was offering services on the Arbitrum chain. I quickly headed to the Discord channel to ask the amazing community support and I was given this image that contained Factor partners which all had Arbitrum services. But I didn't know exactly which logo was which, so I rushed to get help from AI to make my work faster. AI scripted a Python code that will use Google Images to identify multiple images easily. I slapped that bad boy into my compiler, provided the images and waited for about 2 minutes and just like that, I had found a good list of DeFi protocols to work with. And thanks to this, I was able to come up with not just one, but two hypothetically unique huge strategies for my Zilli quest to claim that sweet, sweet XP. Now, this is where we get to the hard stuff. Actually formulating a feasible yield strategy. I had to go through each protocol to explore all their features and pick the ones I felt were best. Some had lending features, some had liquidity provision, some had staking features. I had to investigate from the core members of each protocol to see what kind of yield we would be getting and how frequently we could claim that yield and honestly, all of them checked out. I also had to make sure that whatever protocol I would choose would be liquid enough to have a low risk factor and not pose a threat to investors. So I set a minimum TVL for consideration to $1.5 million. I was able to narrow it all down to the two huge strategies you see before you. And now let's check them out. The first huge strategy was designed to be implemented on Lyra Finance. I call it Lyra ETH Pool Auto Compounder Vault. Lyra has over $14 million in TVL and is partnered with Facto. Lyra also offers an interesting LP token staking platform with 49% APY and just shy of a million dollars in TVL, making it both liquid and highly profitable which makes it a prime target for our huge strategy. The strategy would be simple. The collateral would involve both Lyra tokens and RAF ETH tokens. These could be easily gotten from one inch on the Arbitrum chain. These tokens would be added to the Lyra ETH LP Auto Compounder Vault of Factor and the user can now relax and watch the magic happen. The Factor Vault would add liquidity to the Lyra ETH pool on Lyra Finance and generate LP tokens for that pool. These LP tokens are then staked on Lyra to generate Lyra token rewards which are claimable instantly and at any time. The Lyra token rewards would be swapped out halfway into wrapped ETH tokens which would then be added to the pool again to gain even more LP tokens. These LP tokens are then staked again to earn even more Lyra rewards. The cycle continues to auto compound LP tokens for this pool, generating exponential token rewards which can be liquidated at any time for users as profits in the form of staple tokens like USDC or even Ethereum. Now, the second huge strategy would involve buffered finance and I call it the BFR Auto Compound Vault. Buffer has a TBL of over $6 million and is also partnered with Factor. This strategy would be a lot simpler, involving just one token, the BFR token. Users would need to deposit their BFR tokens which could be gotten from Uniswap to the BFR Auto Compounder Vault on Factor. BFR tokens are staked on Buffer Finance which generates USDC stablecoin yield from 30% of the protocol's fees. These USDC rewards can be swapped for more BFR tokens 
which would be staked to generate even more yield. The great thing about Buffer Finance is that staking BFR tokens also gives multiplier points which boosts the USDC earnings and also yields escrowed BFR tokens which can be compounded to receive a larger share of the protocol fees. These two hypothetical strategies were considered under the conditions that the protocols would remain liquid and the rewards could be instantly claimed, making the compounding process continuous and beneficial to Factor Vault users. FactorVault automates the tedious process involving generating these passive yields, which is great for onboarding tons of new DeFi users who are just looking for a good use of their tokens. The mainnet is set to launch on the 19th of July, so head over to Factor.fi and join the Discord community and stay excited for what is to come.